So if you look, this is the setup for the 148 mm um, through axle and my rear caliper is literally touching the tax 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the um, 142 adapter with a 148 adapter that comes with the tax neo 2 um, installation kit it's also got a, uh, a through through axle that comes with it as well with, with the pack so i'm going to replace it and then we're going to see if this gap widens so that when i'm putting the watts down this is not going to be knocking on there or touching that and damaging my frame or the caliper itself so um yeah let's get into it <music> changing is I need to make sure that this is in the lowest gear um, so let's just change oops I've got my uh, cloth, cloth there oh, that sounds harsh okay so I've changed down to the lowest gear now it's time to let me just put this it's actually my old boxes well, they're not old, they're actually quite new, but they, they were a bit small. So rather than sending them back, I'm using them as cloths to clean my bike with or to protect uh, the bike um, while I'm doing this. So on here, when I go to remove the chain, uh, I'm just making sure that the chain doesn't go onto the, uh, onto the bike because it's quite greasy. Uh, don't want it marking up the bike. So with the 142, I actually managed to use the um, through axle that came with the bike. So this is the original um, through axle that came with the bike. And then here, I've got the one that was supplied with the tax. Um, hmm, it's a little bit longer, so I'll be able to use the longer um, adapter. So I get more clearance with my, get more clearance. So this is the 148 adapter. I've got the 142 adapter on there currently. So now I'm gonna take, remove the bike and then just put this down there for a minute. See what I'll do is if I get the wheel. Okay, let's Okay, so with the 17 mil spanner, let's remove this bad boy. That's it. And then while I'm here, you can see this here because, um, hang on, let me see if I hear it. Ooh. Non drive side, 148. Just about see it. I mean, I can always put a um, a spacer on there as well. So you get you get you get this spacer that comes with it that you can use. So you can literally put that on there, and that will extend it. Or you can put it on here, and that will extend this out a bit more, so that your so that your thing doesn't touch. Um, but uh, I'm gonna use the 148. I'm gonna use the 148 with this one, uh, and then save my my uh, spacer and my 142 adapter. So that's on there with 70 mil spanner again. Tighten this bad boy. Not too much. That will do. And then let's get the bike back on. Okay. 
Okay, now that's sitting nicely and already there's a gap. Um, it's the same length, even sh it might even be shorter. Yeah, it is shorter. So in the meantime, I'm going to to see what it is that I can see so now that we've done that if I bring the camera over here you can see that there is a load of space between the caliper and the tax whereas before it was touching so that's that's what we're going for that's what I wanted so I'm happy with that uh, I can start using my, um, my indoor trainer and yeah start getting some some miles in get some it's a bit there we go there we go mm, now you can see it better it was a bit too bright just then we'll bring it down even more I suppose there we go now you can see that's it that's what I want you to see it looks better like that yeah so now we've got a gap there it's not touching the, the tax if I'm putting some watts down, because this this is supposed to rock from side to side, it's, it's supposed to give you that that realistic feeling. So if you're if you're standing, um, if you're off the saddle, out of the saddle, and you you want to put some watts down, whether you're sprinting, going up a hill, it's going to rock from side to side, and the last thing you want to be doing is damaging your caliper or your um, your frame where it's it's touching the the tax. So that's it. Um, that's provided by the tax near two. Um, and I've just used the, the bracket, the adapter, should I say, that they provided. And I've used my original um, through axle. Excellent. If you've got any suggestions leave them in the comment section um, please like this video subscribe if you're new to my channel and uh, I'll see you in the next one take it for now bye